So now let's discuss question number 29. In an ecosystem, the rate of production of organic matter during photosynthesis is termed as. So it means it is the rate at which the light energy is trapped by the plant and it is converted into the chemical energy which is present in the carbon-carbon bond of sugars. Or you can say that it is the rate at which organic matter is synthesized by the plant. The rate at which organic matter is synthesized by the plant, it is known as gross primary productivity. Yes, so this is right option here. Now what is net primary productivity? So the gross primary productivity represents the rate of formation of organic matter. But some of the organic matter is utilized by the plant for respiration. Yes, some of it is used. So gross primary productivity minus respiratory loss. This represents net primary productivity. So we can say what is gross primary productivity? It is the rate of formation of organic matter. And some of it is used and the one which is left that is NPP. Now coming to the secondary productivity. Secondary productivity is rate of formation of organic matter at animal level. That is at producers. That is at consumers level. So this is okay. Now coming to the question number 30. In a girdle plant we have to say which of the option is correct for the girdle plant. Now let's see what is a girdle plant here. In the girdle plant we remove bark in the form of a ring. So from this area, let's say bark is removed in the form of ring. This is known as girdling, removal of the bark. This is known as girdling. This is also known as ringing. Now, you know that bark is all the tissue which is present outside vascular cambium. When we remove bark, it also results in removal of phloem. Yes, phloem is removed. So you know that the phloem is a tissue which is involved in the transport of food, translocation of the food. So what will happen due to the absence of phloem in this region, food from the leaves that cannot be transported down. Yes, the food, it will not reach down. Food will not reach down due to which the root cannot survive. So the first part in the plant which will die, that is root. Due to the death of the root, ultimately the shoot will also die in the plant. Right? So now we can look for the right option. Neither root nor shoot will die. This is wrong. Shoot dies first. No. Root dies first. Yes, because the food cannot be transported because the phloem has been removed. Shoot and root die together. No. So right option is option number 3. So now let's discuss next question here.